A few weeks ago, I published a vlog about the Cannes Yachting Festival and the five yachts that I most wanted to see, amongst which was Silent Yachts ePower 55. Now, that particular yacht got a lot of attention from my viewers who made a lot of questions about how the whole system works, how the yacht's powered by solar energy. So I thought it would be a great thing to meet up with the founder and the CEO of the company, uh, Michael Kohler, and ask him some of your questions. So thanks for taking the time to meet up with Michael, very much appreciated. As you know, this video is going to be published on YouTube. So I'm gonna use a very youtube -y expression now and say, let's get right down to it. And ask you, first of all, if you can explain how silent yachts use solar power to power the entire vessel. Yeah, we produce the power with solar panels. We store it in the batteries. And by doing it this way, we can consume the power even when there is no sun, in bad weather conditions, or even during the night. So we have big battery uh, bank of 210 kilowatt hours, which is really a lot. Uh, in lead batteries, it would be far more than 10 tons. Um, so, so in lithium batteries, it's, it's fairly lightweight compared to, to lead at least. And, um, yeah, and we can run the, the electric motors for several hours, even at, at medium speeds, uh, and for many hours at lower speeds, um, uh, and of course, um, supply the power for the household appliances at the same time. My YouTube channel has a lot of doubters, <laughs> a yeah. lot of people who, who have questions. So I've made a note of some of the questions from my viewers, and I'm gonna read them to you. The first one's a long question. Yes. Erin Thor. Erin Thor wrote in and said, I'd love to hear about the ECAT. All I know is related to my cellular experience, the battery bank needed to keep a cell site running 24 hours is essentially a shipping pallet of batteries chest high. I don't see a way, technically speaking, to run electric motors, a fridge, and maybe an air conditioning system for any length of time off of solar. If you meant that you can keep the systems running all night if you spent all day charging, then he says, great video, keep up the excellent work. So is it possible, do you, do you need to spend the entire day charging the batteries? Okay, very simple answer. Oh, longer, but the first word already is, have you, ha, have you seen on our boat any shore power cable? Actually, no. There is none. Actually, honestly, we don't have one. It simply has been forgotten to deliver by the shipyard. This is a brand new <laughs> boat and we couldn't get the plug over here. I wanted to buy one. Seriously? We don't have one. So first, compared to all the other boats, uh, they have thick ones and sometimes even they run the generator in addition because uh, the shore power is not sufficient. How does it work that we can, we can do it if others don't? Simple. Firstly, the whole hull is insulated, superstructure, everything is insulated. It's not only the foam between the sandwich layers of, of, the, of the fiberglass. Uh, we have additional insulation inside, a thick one, just for thermal insulation. One of the, one of the reasons why we need less air conditioning than other boats of compar uh, comparable size. So, we consume, just to give you some numbers, we consume on, on a boat like this about uh, 40-50 kilowatt hours per day. If we run the air conditioning in salon and all cabins 24-7 at warm temperatures like here, summer temperatures, and inside normal cold, comfortable uh, temperatures. Maybe not American temperatures, which are yeah, freezing. <laughs> so normal temperatures. Then we consume about 40, 50 kilowatt hours a day. We can, we can uh, produce about, depending on the boat, but let's say, let's say for a 60 foot uh, size, we can produce about 100 kilowatt hours per day. That means air conditioning is about half of our production. If you run the air conditioning 24 seven, if you run it less, of course, we have more power available for other things. The fridge is ridiculous. Fridge is two kilowatt hours per day. Yeah, it's not Negligible. Yeah. 
and when we say fridge, it's an American side by side with uh, with freezer and fridge part, huge one, and as tall as me, and wider than me, <laughs> and including including uh, chilled water and ice cubes. So negligible. The main consumer is not a kitchen. Kitchen also negligible. Um, the main consumer is. We cook everything electrically, yes. electric stove, elec electric induction cook plate, but still, main consumer is the propulsion system. Ah. Because if we cruise with the boat, depending on the speed, we consume much more power than with the air conditioning, which runs on during nighttime 1.4 kilowatt, during daytime about 2 kilowatt, not more. It's ridiculous. So, but the Propulsion system takes much more. For example, if we run the boat on five knots, it's less than 10 kilowatt. If it's six knots, it's about 16 kilowatt consumption. If we run seven knots, about 25 kilowatt. Eight knots, about 40 kilowatt. So you see the curve goes up like this until a certain point when we start planning. It's oh, not it's a planing. Yeah, it's oh, a planing. I didn't know that. It's a planing hull. Uh, top speed of this boat, for example, is 17 knots. Wow. So of course the curve increases further, but in a in a less steep way. Let's call it like that. Uh, for example, at um, 17 knots, uh, we consume two times 150 kilowatt. Which is a lot on, yeah. on the one hand, uh, if it's an electrically powered boat and we have only uh, a battery capacity of about 210 yes. um, kilowatt hours. That means uh, even when the generator is running that is producing uh, 100 um, kilowatt, uh, we can do it for, for about one hour only. In, um, that means top speed only short period of time, but with a speed of, of uh, 10 knots, for example, we are down at 120, 130 uh, kilowatt. Uh, we can run it at that speed for a much longer period of time. Without generator for one and a half hours, with generator for a couple of hours. 10 knots. If we go down to 8 knots, we're at 40 kilowatt. Without generator, 5 hours. With generator, at infinitum, forever <laughs> until the fuel uh, until tank the fuel. is yeah. is empty. Yeah. So in this case, of course, we depend on fuel. Yeah. But I want you and also the the, the viewers of, of your channel to understand this boat is not a miracle. Yeah. We yeah. did not reinvent the wheel. Uh, we have no cosmic energy <laughs> that is driving the boat. We are not pulling a cable behind us. It's simple physics. We optimized the boat to the utmost. We optimized the consumption not only of the drive drain itself, also of the hull. The hull is very efficient. Uh, also all household appliances are very efficient. Yes. So by doing it that way, we are able to consume less and to run it on solar. But still, we produce a certain amount of energy per day and we can decide how we use it. If we use it for air conditioning, including cooking. We have still about 40 to 50 kilowatt hours per day available for driving. If we drive, for example, with six knots, it's still sufficient for three hours driving without starting the generator. And this is what you have to keep in mind. Again, not a miracle, yeah. but even a sailing boat that wants to run with six knots. Yes. Six knots. Today, no six knots, no, no sure. wind. Yeah. Yesterday, day before yesterday, the whole week, yeah. no wind. Tuesday, enough wind, 50 knots. Yeah, but pour Nobody, rain. Pour, <laughs> pouring rain, yes. nobody would go for sailing. Yeah. But you can store the wind from Tuesday and consume it on Friday. Yeah. Doesn't work. So with our system, it works. Even if we had bad weather on Tuesday, we had sun on Monday. So we did not start the generator on Tuesday to run the air conditioning or heating or whatever because we had stored it on Monday. And we have the energy which we uh, produce for the, for the whole week, 
we consume it, for example, for the air conditioning because it's running right now yes. down below. Sure. And, uh, and we use it also for sea trials that are daily in the evening. And we consume quite a lot at the sea trials yeah. because the people want to see top speed. Yes, so yes. so uh, that's the reason uh, why I think this, or I'm, I'm convinced, I know, that this system is a viable system that really um, suits the needs of the normal average client yes. in 95% of the cases. Because usually, if you run the air conditioning and you go to the next bay or make a small cruise, it's usually not more than two, three, four hours per day. And for this, it's sufficient. If you need more, then you simply start a generator. What's wrong about that? Yeah, because no, any no deal, yeah. sailing boat would start the, the, their propulsion engines yeah. today. Yes. No way, there is no wind. Yeah. So and if any, any boat wants to run the air conditioning 24 seven, show me a boat anywhere in the harbor that can do this without running the generator. Yeah. We can. Actually, one of the viewers answered Erin Thor and he said, but with a question. Um, this was Wesley Crawford. He said, with the advances in battery technology, the solar yachts can cruise at five to eight knots while charging the batteries for the night's use. He said, being a former US Navy sailor, the question I have is, does the solar yacht use standard tech naval batteries which tend to explode when exposed to seawater? Or are they lithium type batteries? If they're lithium, do they explode if they're exposed to seawater? Um, actually, seawater, <laughs> no. Uh, short answer, no, they do Good. not. <laughs> they do not. If they, even if they are fully submerged, they would not explode. They would simply cool down. Mm -hmm. they, would, uh, they would, of course, le uh, lose their charge uh, because they, it's a, it's a is shortcut the right word? Yeah, short, uh, short circuit. circuit yes. uh, it's, a, it's a short circuit, but in a, in a modest yeah. way, yes. because it's not a short circuit with a, with a wire, which would really heat up the battery, but, but uh, salt water, water is conductive, so the, the, the charge would, would move, yeah, uh, and circuit. it equalizes uh, at, at a certain point after several hours. So in the end, nothing will happen so if it's Wesley, submerged. So don't worry, they're not going to explode. <laughs> For sure not. Now Rob Decker, he has a totally different question. He said, please ask about the new Silent 44 when you're at it. Yes. Not much info so far, thanks. Um, yeah, the Silent 44 is a cooperation between our Australian distributor and, and us. Uh, so we delivered the drivetrain, we assisted in the, in the design and in the construction, but it's their boat. So I don't want to mix too much into sure. that. We of course uh, promote the boat, we, we sell the boat of course. It's a beautiful boat because we have our share on the, on the design and the, and the construction of the boat. Um, there is not more information available yet, but it will be more very soon because I know because I have already more photos than oh, really? he shows on the, on, the, on the internet. So they already started building the molds. Uh, everything works nicely. The boat will be available in about one year, physically, uh, but it can be ordered now already. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I have a question for you. Yes. Because I took a look at the yacht yesterday and I noticed, among other things, those wash basins look like they're made maybe of bamboo. It is bamboo. And it made me wonder if along with the solar energy you've made a particular effort to use sustainable materials elsewhere in the yacht. Actually, we try to, as far as it's possible, because uh, the boat is, is made of plastic, which is like any other boat, yeah, yes. yeah, period. <laughs> um, but uh, solar panels can be recycled to almost 100%. The plastic which is underneath the solar panel is ridiculous. This is less than one, one bottle of Coke. Yes. And uh, the rest is glass and silicium, which can be recycled and aluminum can be recycled 100% and reused in the same way. This, there is no pollution with that. 
Uh, battery, by the way, the same. It will be surprising probably, but a lithium battery can be recycled 99%. Really? What yeah. cannot be recycled, for example, is the paint all around and small, tiny things like the paint. Uh, but all the, the, the wiring inside and especially, and that's the important uh, message, the lithium and the other, other uh, minerals and, and metals in it can be recycled fully. That means the lithium you get out when recycling is other than a recycled plastic, which can only be used for cheap, cheap type of uh, plastic. Uh, this can be reused in a battery with the same quality like a new lithium. So it's the same quality and you don't lose anything. So it can be really recycled. And what about, uh, what about the future for silent yachts? What are your next projects that we should look out for? Um, yeah, we're working right now on Silent uh, 60, which is already under construction. Uh, we're working uh, on the Silent 80, which is in three versions available with a standard flybridge like this boat uh, with a huge open flybridge of 90 square meters. Nine wow. zero, yeah? Whoa. That's almost like 1,000 almost 1,000 square feet uh, sky launch, open sky launch yeah. terrace. And in a, in a closed version where you could have your private about 60 square meters um, cabin and after that, you have a private terrace and with a 360 degree view, unobstructed. Wow. All around windows, this is, this is amazing. Will we see that at camp you, next year or is it a little bit further off than that? We hope, we are really working hard to present uh, the 80 and the 60 next yeah. year at Cannes. We hope that we can manage that it. That would be fantastic. And we are working also on other models which are, which are still, uh, let's say, confidential. Wraps, yeah. and, but we will, we will unveil it very soon. Uh, we, have, we have some more news for you. Yeah. Excellent. Michael, thank you so much. That it was, was a pleasure. Really, it was really it was fascinating pleasure. as well. To, to, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I really do enjoy reading the comments on every video that I publish and whenever I can I try to answer any of questions that I have too. So if you enjoy videos like this where I can get to talk to the builder and ask him your questions, do tell me about that in the comments section. If you want to win a super yacht to the value of $10 million, then click here to subscribe to my channel. You'll join an increasing number of people who all have that dream. Click here to watch an exciting walkthrough video of a super yacht and don't forget to check out the merchandise on the link below.